Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and this is Pocket Kaiju, a game made in, I think, RPG Maker MV using MV3D by Wrath of Wood. We're going to find out if this is controller friendly. Yeah, of course it is. <sighs> this one snuck up on me. This was not on my radar. I had no idea about this. Welcome to Pocket Kaiju. Please name your new kaiju friend. Uh, just so everybody's on the same page, this is probably going to be a Pokemon-like. Uh, kaiju refers to the giant monsters that you've seen on the big screen, tearing down Japanese cities like Godzilla, Ghidorah, Mechagodzilla, Rodan, Mothra. Uh, there's a ton of others. For now, I'm trying to figure out why would I name my kaiju without knowing what it's gonna look like or anything. Uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll name him. We'll we'll name we'll name him Hank. We'll just go with Hank. I'm just gonna go with Hank, and that will be no. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with Hank. Do you want to see a quick guide on how to care for Hank? <laughs> yeah, please. Welcome to Pocket Kaiju. You have been chosen to raise fearsome beings known as Kaiju. A terrible decision, by all accounts. I like the music though, however these beasts are too adorable and cannot defend themselves after being hatched. Petting your Kaiju will make it happy. Eggs will hatch when your Kaiju is happy enough. If it is unhappy, it will return to an egg. Oh, so this is going to be more like Tamagotchi. Not Pokemon, maybe. Plant seeds to grow plants here. Plants will take time to grow. When they are ready, you will be able to harvest food from them. Feed your kaiju food from the plants to make them grow up big and strong. Who are you? Check it out. We have a character selector. These two characters are from another Wrath of Wood game, so that's fun. And then we have... We have the uh, titular RPG maker hero. I'm gonna go after uh, the goth cat girl because in real life, I am a goth cat girl. Song, we can change the song. Town three. No, change that. Dungeon. Nah, we won't use that either. Oh, we can change our character too. That's pretty cool. Very, very neat. Field three. No. Go back to calm and collected. All right, let's. Uh, oh, we can change the name of the kaiju. That's cool. We will pet the kaiju. Some some symbols appeared. Heart. There we go. Thank you. This is just a demo. Probably, it may be even just like a concept. Uh, let's plant the purple seeds here, and let's also plant the purple seeds here, and we'll wait for them to grow. Love that water. Uh, can't move the camera or anything. So it's probably going to be all we do here. We're just going to pet our kaiju. It's happy. Oh, it's hatching. It's hatching. Oh, hand catch. That actually kind of scared me a little bit. What are you? You're like a worm. Can I still pet you? Hank is nibbling on a bone seed. It is too large to fit in its tiny mouth. Bone seed found. Pet you. Keep you happy. Uh, that, that meter... Kinda goes down fast. Let's let's pet you faster. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, he's happy. Food has been harvested. Three purple fruit found. It's growing, just chill. Only 28 seconds left. Hey, we gotta feed you, Hank. We're gonna feed you all the purple fruit. I don't... Did I plant something? 15 seconds left. Okay, so this is actually kind of a fast resource game. That's all I had. Do I have unlimited... Unlimited seeds? There's my purple fruit. Now we're going to plant some bone seeds. Man, he, uh... He gets hungry fast. 
Is it, is it the more we pet him, the uh, not hungrier he gets? That would be nice. Woof. Hank transformed. Oh, wow. He's now, <laughs> what? Hank is playing with a pizza seed. Pizza seed found. Okay. All right. Got some bone berries. Let's plant those pizza seeds and feed you bone berry. Now I'm wondering, okay. If I give him different kinds of combinations of stuff, will he become different? Man, he got hungry fast. I do not like that. Three seconds left and pizza. Three pizzas found. Plant some more bone seeds. All right, and he's been fed. And plant some more pizza seeds. You planted 10 seeds. Your farming level has gone up. Plants will grow faster now. Oh, that's nice. Oh god, it is dark. Listen, caring for a kaiju is no joke. It takes a lot of dedication, time, time management, petting. You've basically got to walk in circles in order to be able to line yourself up with your kaiju so you can pet him a lot. Oh, he's at max happy. Three bone berries found. We'll plant some more bone berries. Two pizzas found. We're going to plant some more pizzas. Go down there. Feed him all the stuff. There we go. A very happy kaiju. Uh, this is... I hope Wrath of Wood releases this project file so that people can use it to make their own monster raising mini games. That would be awesome. It would be awesome to see him credited for lots of monster raising games that people might want to make. More pizza seeds. Do you change based on what I feed you, I wonder? Wrath, tell me. I gotta know. I gotta know. It is now day two, it looks like. We've got our purple fruit. We're gonna plant some more bone seeds. I feel like he could transform into something that's very pizza looking, if I'm not careful. He's almost full. He's gonna grow into a really big monstrous kaiju next. Found some pizza. Got some bones. It's not how this works, but you know, it's fine. Anything goes in a monster raising world. Gotta make him happy. That really does grow fast now. Planting bone stuff. His hunger just went down right in front of me. Oh, God. Can't overfeed the monster. I thought that's what would level him up, but no, that's not what that do. Okay, so we're just kind of chilling then. We're just chilling until he gets to be so happy or has lived long enough to grow. That's fine. Where did he go? Oh, he's up there now. That means I can just spam collecting the fruit for his next form because he's probably going to be really, really hungry this next go around, right? Pop, 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 pop. And we'll plant more pizza seeds and we'll plant more bone seeds. Pet him. Pet him. Feed him. Is it amount of food that you eat or is it based on time? I've decided to feed him nothing but bone fruit, bone seeds, bone, bone, bone meal from this point on until his next evolution. I'd like to see if 
he his growth is influenced and yes my kaiju is a he um, by the bone food maybe he'll have a lot of calcium resulting in a very happy kaiju that doesn't have heartburn and will never ever have to take these this video is not sponsored by equate and acids but they do keep me alive and we're just growing bones bros we're just boning this that that's not nope Hank transformed that took a long time what did you transform into is that a bony creature yeah it is Hank is playing with a shiny iron seed iron seed found he has transformed into a skeletal thing that deserves a lot of pets and love oh he's like actually needing pets too well I like the idea of the iron seed I'm gonna I'm gonna give him iron seeds iron seeds iron so if you plant iron in the ground it, does it grow an iron vein iron ore I'm not gonna feed you anything until I get some iron Wow two iron found pretty sure that's exactly how that works so that's fine you know, in one of my game ideas that I make, my most ambitious game idea ever, um, I've got all of my magic classes, and they have to have a use that that's apart from being in combat, right? So my magic classes, a lot of them are able to regrow things. Like, the, the druid can regrow mind nodes of plants and such. The shaman can... Whoop, I didn't want to grow that. Dang it. The shaman is able to make use of select magics to sort of give back to nature whenever an animal has been taken out to have its uh, parts harvested for whatever reason. And I was playing with the idea of allowing one of these mage types to be able to regrow ores in the world. And that doesn't sound like very good, but my rationalization was, what if the ore is just created by a constant pressure underneath or anywhere that there's constant pressure and a concentration of a particular element. So a mage could theoretically draw that particular element to be concentrated in a few spots and thereby growing uh, uh, growing sort of manifesting moving I guess by means of conduction and 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 moving the atomic elements at the at the atomic level to where they will be concentrated to the point where they will separate away from their the minerals and such to which they are bound. Yeah, so this way the mage would be able to regrow ore, so take that. It doesn't let me pet them more than... I have to catch them to pet them. It's a them now. It evolved, and it changed. Iron! Growing iron. Or maybe it's just that, you know, you can plant an iron seed and it grows an iron tree. I think that that's, that's perfectly valid. Come on, become an iron thing. Ah, you can't rush it, I guess. I'm just excited. I'm I'm raising my my baby creature into a ferocious kaiju. I'm feeding it faster than it can than it can metabolize. I think we'll just chill here and let his stomach get used to the the contents of of, of the iron that it's that it's trying to metabolize and digest. All right, who's a good skelly boy? Who's a good skelly boy? It, it's a boy now. It's very fluid. It's a very fluid creature. Ah, I want, I want my planting skill to level up again. Or something. I want something to level up. Progression is fun. There's water here. I wish I could get some water out and have to give water to the creature too. And then my watering skills would level up. I don't know. Evolve, Hank. You need to grow big and strong. And deal propane. Propane accessories. You all knew I was going to make the joke at some point. Don't pretend like you didn't. 
Come on, evolve. Ugh, sorry. I, I, I remember. I remember. You can't rush these things. You can't rush love and growth. You just have to be encouraging. Hey, while you're here, make sure you check out my new shirt that I have created. It's it's limited time. It's, uh, I don't know how much time because it depends on when I reach 2,000 subscribers. But I made a shirt and it's on Teespring and the link is in the description below. And there's other merch there too that's not limited. You can get a swanky, subtle gaming design logo or you can get the loud, ill-placed picture of a caricature of me with an anvil that's about to fall on them. The anvil is representative of the 2,000 subscribers that I almost have as of now. Very happy about that. And if you have the uh, Patreon shirt for the under 1K subclub, this under 2K subclub will go very well with that. Yeah, Hank has transformed. But into what? Uh, Hank? You're looking very something. Hank transformed again. You didn't stay that way for long at all. Hank transformed again. What is happening? What the heck? Is this like the pizza monster? Oh, Hank has transformed yet again. Oh, wow. That's... That's quite a... That's quite a transformation. Well, Hank, no matter how many times you transform... Oh, God! Oh, no, Hank. You are growing too big for this habitat. I am now Hank. I am now in control. I'm Hank! Oh, God. I am Hank. Sure hope my meters don't fall while I'm trying to... Crunch! Oh, yeah! We get to be destructive now! We get to destroy! Oh, uh, Hank, I've raised you well. What are you, a tank? You're ridiculous. Who are you to think you can compare to Hank's might? Hank is here to destroy the buildings, eat the tanks. Oh, dude, just walk right over them, I suppose. Ah, yeah! We have reaped the fruit of our labor. What is happening? We are in space now. Do I get to destroy planets? Did I just, like, Katamari Damacy? Do I get to... No, I get to eat the stars, too. Yeah, we're just flying right over stars and planets now, baby. Oh my gosh, Hank, I'm so proud. I am such a proud parent. I raised Hank to be this star eater. And... Wow. Hank has grown up to be a great kaiju. You know in your heart that Hank will never forget about you and your time together. <sighs> RPG Maker MV. It was made in July, so I guess I didn't lag too far behind. Good job, Ayato Sound Create for the music. It's great. Good job, Wrath of Wood, getting all these plugins to work nicely together. Thank you for playing. You are awesome. Well, Uno card. Wrath of Wood, you're awesome for making this. This was really, really cool. Uh, you look down at your feet and notice another egg. And then it starts all over. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Thank you. As always, Wrath of Wood for another beautifully crafted, great representation of the MV3D system, and as well as how awesome you can be with combining plugins, graphical assets, and, and everything to make a really cool, unique experience. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to spread this as far and as wide as I can in the RPG Maker communities that I'm in. Uh, if you know of any places to share videos such as this one, please let me know and I'll make sure that I drop RPG Maker related content in that community channel or server or Reddit or whatever as well. And I would appreciate it if you could do that YouTube thing, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I do a mix of content and amalgamation um, and do all kinds of different game stuff, but it's always centered around gaming, fantasy, building, creating, all of that good stuff. I try to do it with my own little flavor. And that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Comments down below. I respond to those. Till next time. Bye for now.